What up, what up, what up, guys? And Kenny here, and back in the video today. So, we're just going to be pushing with Ice Bow 3.6 with the Valkyrie and Seven Knights. And as you guys can see, I kind of upgraded my cards to level 14. And not all of them, of course, but yeah, a lot of them. And without further ado, let's get started. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Okay, so we're in our first game against HB1 Ferron. So I'm just going to actually cycle my skeletons since it's kind of a safe play. And I'm going to log just to cycle back to my ice wizard. And let's see. Okay, let's actually rocket his pump. So this actually might be golden pump, but let's see. I'm not too sure, so I'm not going to really do anything. Okay, so it's actually Valkyrie low. Okay, let's actually go x pops of lane. Just to kind of punish this golem in the back. And this might be a really, really good expo. We might get a ton of damage right here. Looks like we will. So I'm actually going to ignore the Skeleton Dragons. I'm just going to wait for them to connect to my tower before I actually go Tesla. Just so I kind of keep my Tesla alive, if that makes sense. And right here, I'm going to do something a little special. So I'm going to go in to activate King in this position. Yeah, so pretty good activation by us. Let's actually rocket his pump. And perfect. So we already got the damage lead. So all we really need to do now is chill and defend. So as long as we don't overcommit, we should be able to win. I don't think he has a big spell, so this might be really, really good for us. Let's test the low, and even though he might not have a big spell, I like to be cautious, so I usually spread out my Ice Wizard, my Tesla, just in case. So right here, I'm just going to have the Valkyrie. This should take care of everything. Okay, so I can't really go in right here. I mean, I probably could on the left, but I just feel like that's kind of unnecessary, especially if I already have the damage lead. So let's actually go skeletons up high just to kind of protect our ice wizard a bit. And I'm gonna actually rock with this whole push and this should take everything down. And just gonna cycle back to another ice wizard. So so far so good. Pretty good defense. I can't go in again because he has golem in hand. So have to defend. So after this push, after I kill this push, I might actually go in. Just because he might not have enough elixir to go golem. So yeah, really bad play by him. He kind of overcommitted with the skeleton dragons. So let's actually go in right here with next bow. And he's probably gonna have to play something low. So let's get our nato ready. And perfect. So. We got the lock, he has no zap, and he can't really get an E-drag to reset, so that's GG. So pretty good game by us. Okay, we're up against Pete. So I'm just gonna actually cycle my Ice Wizard. See what he does. I could really go for an expo if he continues to leak. So let's see what he's gonna do. So since he played those archers and they won't really do much, I'm gonna actually go in for an expo. And yeah, he seemed like he overcommitted right there, so I'm guessing he doesn't really have an answer to our expo. So this should be a really good connection.
Okay, interesting. So, judging by his cards, he also has a freeze. I'm gonna guess he either has graveyard or balloon freeze. It's gonna go Tesla in the middle. If this is graveyard, this is a really good play, but if it's balloon, we might be screwed here. Since we don't really have our NATO in hand either. Uh, okay, let's see. So NATO his balloon to our Tesla. And if he has freeze in hand, we might have just lost the game, so. Okay, perfect. He probably didn't have enough elixir to actually play it, so that's why he was laughing right there. So, once we get the elixir for I'm gonna go in for an expo. And I know he has guards in hand, so I'm gonna actually go log in the middle to predict his guards. And really nice play by him. Kinda failed our prediction, but I think that's fine. Let's pre-place our Tesla for his balloon. And we can pretty much get the King Tower activated right here. And really bad freeze by him. He spent 4 elixir on nothing basically, so I can go in for a free rocket. And he shouldn't be able to punish this. Um, let's see, let's go Ice Wizard in the corner. And then spread out our Tesla so he's not able to freeze both. And I don't even think we'll need NATO right here. Alright, so, so good so far. I'm not gonna go in because he, he'll be able to defend easily. And there'd be no point, so... Let's go Tesla. And then Ice Wizard in the corner. I will probably have to late NATO, so yeah. This balloon shouldn't really get to tower. And I still have to play this slowly because he hasn't overcommitted yet, so I'm gonna wait for his next overcommit before I actually go in with an expo. Okay, let's see what our opponent does here. It's NATO this to King again and really bad freeze. So since he used that really bad freeze, I'm going to go in for an expo since it was an overcommit by him. And he shouldn't really be able to defend this. And it's gonna, it should take his tower down to rocket range, I think. And yeah, GG. Okay, we're up against... Our next opponent and I'm gonna wait before I go log okay so since he uses dark print I'm not gonna use my log yet I'm just gonna have to wait so that log was sort of bad so our Tesla should take damage I think let's go ice wizard And I'm not going to go in for no reason, since I don't really know the rest of this deck. Some people, some people on my friends list would have went in right there. So, that's a big mistake, not knowing what they're using and going in. Okay, so I sh I'm just going to let that kill my Valkyrie. And then Tesla for his minions. Gonna have to log his Dark Prince again. So notice how I'm just kind of playing this passively. I know he does have the Inferno Dragon, but I have to try to figure out his other cards. So I'm not really gonna go in unless I do have a proper support system to actually use 
to support my expo. And okay, so he does have the E barbs. E barbs, Inferno Dragon. So now that I know some of this expo counters, I have an idea of how I want to go in and how I want to actually approach going in. So I'm just going to pre place the Tesla just to set up and see what he does. Let's go log again. So right here, I feel like we're going to be able to go in since we do have that bout coming. And that Tesla's still up, so... Okay, so he has Pekka E-Barbs in front of I'm just going to rocket his e in and his Pekka, and I think that should pretty much die. And I'm going to Skeletons right here to predict like a spell. Really good prediction by me, and I can just test the high. And I think this is pretty much GG. Let's actually go in again since we do have a surviving Tesla and this Inferno Dragon's out of cycle. Okay, I think we should be able to get a lock right here. Let's log the e -Wiz and then skeleton so the e -Wiz doesn't hit our expo. And really, really good lock by us, guys. That's going to take his tower down really, really low. So I just need like... I'm not really sure how much all my spells do together. I know Rocket does 591, but I don't think all my spells put together actually takes that out, so. It's Rocket NATO. And all we need is like a log and we should be able to win. Okay, so GG, pretty easy match right here. So the takeaways, don't go expo if you don't have a proper support or you don't know what they're playing. Okay, so we're up against Luis or Lewis. Let's see, let's go Tesla and then Ice Wizard. Okay, I'm not really sure what he's playing. He could be running Hog Rocket or some kind of Megan. Okay. Let's go late Valkyrie and he actually has the Golden Knights. I'm gonna rocket everything and how did that survive a rocket, guys? So I'm guessing his dash makes him inv invincible just like the bandit does, so. That's pretty interesting. I'm not really going to do anything since we are low in Elixir. And I know his Mega Knight's out of cycle, so let's go in with an Expo right here. Let's log his Hunter just to sneak it in a connection. And perfect, guys. We got a really good lock. So we should have Mega Knight in Cycle now, so I just have to make sure I prepare for that. So I don't really want to use my Valkyrie right there. So usually if you play Exabo, you want to plan ahead just like I'm doing. So I didn't use my Valkyrie right there because I knew he had Mega Knight. And if I played my Valkyrie, he would have just played his Mega Knight in the back, and I would have just been in big big trouble so yeah um let's play our valkyrie once the mega knight gets in range and i'm actually gonna have to rocket this that golden knight is pretty annoying guys i'm really really lucky it's under leveled or i probably would have had like a big issue okay let's play our ice wizard up high so the hunter doesn't splash onto our tower and let's actually go defense by expo. So I don't necessarily have to go in anymore since we do have the damage speed. So there's literally no point. Okay, that Golden Knight looked pretty OP right there. 
I'm gonna go in since I do have a proper support and I have enough elixir for Tesla if I need it. I'm probably gonna have to rocket this. I don't think like a Tesla would have stopped it, so. Okay, this is looking pretty good for us, so I'm just gonna log just to keep the damage advantage. And let's actually go Ice Wizard. So again, I don't want to use my Valkyrie if he has like Meg Nine Cycle. Let's Defensive Expo to kind of fix our cycle. And I'm gonna actually Valkyrie. Oh my gosh, guys! I know you guys saw that. That that was that was insane. Okay, I'm not sure how we'll be able to defend this. The Golden Knight kind of messed up our, our hand right there. So we took quite a bit of damage. We need to get a connection or we'll probably lose. So, okay. I'm really lucky that he cycled his Meg Knight there. So this should get a connection. Let's Valkyrie in the corner just in case he has Zap or something. And wow, guys. That Expo did work on his tower. So all we really need to do is just try to defend and that golden knight just keeps putting in work guys. So I used to think he was a bad um, champion but he's probably one of the best, he's probably second best. I'm gonna actually rock it since we do need the damage and he's actually spell cycling himself. So that's what he needs to be doing. Let's actually go ice wizard in the corner and then go valkyrie. Okay, so let's go Rocket again since we did clear up his whole push. No way, guys. So the Golden Knight managed to get another hit. But I think we should be able to win this right here. And yeah, GG. So really good game. So we're at, we should be at like 7210 or something. So let's see where we ended off. Okay, 72-22, so top 3k.